Good evening everybody, this is A42, this is part 67, let's play Red Dead Redemption 2. Last time I left off, we just, we just started uh, John's story as we begin the uh, epilogue 1 chapter after uh, Arthur had died to Fergalosis and John Marston is living a new, he's living a new, a new life with uh, Abigail and Jack and he pretty much got a job at the ranch. <laughs> he just got done cleaning up a uh, horse shit, <laughs> you know. So yeah, it, it was pretty much a snow place uh, episode. But yeah, so in today's episode, we're gonna do some we're gonna do some more mission for John, of course, which, since we're still working at the ranch and all. But before we do that, remember, remember in the previous video I said I was gonna show off uh, Arthur's grave. Well, I'm at his grave site, and his grave site is pretty hard to find. So I had to. So uh, I did. I did get to. The, I did get to Arthur's grave site after I ended my video, and I saved. Then when I then I reload my save file, it put me at a different spot, so I had to go find it again. So let's go to the map, and I'll so I'll be able to pinpoint it. So yeah, so right where I'm standing on the map, this is where Arthur's grave is at. So you want to go, so you want you want to go to to the east of um, Bakuas Bridge, and uh, in the west of Grizzly uh, East. And his grave is pretty much uh, right here where, where the white blimp is at. I mean, y'all could put a way marker there. Yeah. But yeah, it's actually where I'm standing at. So I just, I just want to show you guys the full map so y'all can uh, pinpoint the exact location to where uh, Arthur's grave is at. And yes, and there's a trophy for for visiting all your um, all your companions' grave. And yes, even doing a post scene. All right. So yeah, that's all. So we we go off your horse and go up, and go to the grave site, and there you have it, Arthur's grave. I sit triangle to to uh, inspect it. Oh, wow! Nice alert. Huh? There we go, Arthur Morgan. Now, depending on your honor. If if Arthur's uh, honor was at high, you would see the flowers around his gravestone. But if his honor was low, then you would not see the flowers on his gravestone. You'll see something else. And yeah, reason why uh, John Mars is moved on his own because um my joints is acting up, so I made a deal with that because I don't feel like wasting six dollars on another PS4 controller. But yeah, so that's where uh, Arthur's um gravesite is at. So let me go on the map and have you. And show you guys where it's at in case you guys want to pinpoint it. Just look where the yellow, yellow dot is at. <laughs> and that's where it's at. So, alright, folks. So, yeah. We showed Arthur's grave. And now, um. Oh boy. Now I gotta find a, I gotta find a way how to, um, get down this hill without, um. Without entering my horse, cause that's a big ass fucking hill. All right. So this is gonna be a long, this is gonna be a long trip back. Oh yeah, that's right. The, the, the reason why the game all said because I had to reload my save file again because uh, apparently you can you can get poisoned this game. <laughs> cause I, I just got bit by a snake, a venomous snake, <laughs> which was out of fucking blue. Yeah, see, this is, this is a long ass travel, so yeah, so we're we'll gonna get back to the uh, to the big valley off camera. So, the first mission we're gonna start in tonight's episode is um, Farmers for Beginners. I didn't make sure that's the uh, okay, yeah, 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 we're gonna start this mission first. Oh my goodness, man, fucking joystick. Come on, joystick, come on. Here we go. Yeah, look at that long ass trip. But that's the power of editing. So once I uh, get on the road, we'll do a little jump cut. Oh my goodness. This long do hills. Hey sir, just visiting my uh my buddy's uh, grave. That's respect. Alright. So excuse me folks, I'll meet you guys when I uh, get back to the ranch, so I'll be right back. Alright guys, and we're back. 
And interesting fun fact, I got ambush on the on the way back, so I had to um quickly lose sight of motherfuckers before I uh, got back to um got back to the uh, to the ranch that we're working at. And for some reason, uh, my core is strained for no fucking reason. I tried to do something to save it, but I can't seem to get rid of that. It might be hot or cold, but the game is not telling me. My lord, what have I done to deserve this? Okay, so that was the random mission. All right, so um, yeah, I want to. I really want to trigger this mission for for beginners that we were, try, we were trying to do that in the first place. Then that cutscene came out of nowhere. Yeah, I might have missed that cutscene in my practice file. But yeah, I don't know how to get rid of that, um, that, get rid of that danger, that, that skull sign on my health bar. Hey, Milton. Can you give me a Cause I would assume I got bit by a snake. Sure. Well, here's the thing, I reload my safe out before Milton. I got bit by a snake. Not really. And I'm yeah, guessing, um, the engine might have carried over when I load stated. When I reload my file, I mean. Guess we all got our peculiarities, Mr. Dickens. What was you doing before you came here? told you. Wife got cheated out of inheritance. We was in a legal dispute. It was a bad time. That sounds awful. Oh, so far four. God, I I God damn it. it. Yeah, like, as I get finished recording, I'm gonna go back downstairs and watch some Captain America Civil War. Have we log this shit? It's good, is though. Country. So free, that I can't tell you what to think. So I guess it don't much matter what you believe. But I will work hard and I learn fast. Okay. Give me a hand with this fence. Alright. So yeah, we gotta build a fence. Yep. There's plenty more to do. Alright. We don't want it coming down. Yeah, press X to tap the, uh, <laughs> tap the, the rail. Alright. I know how to build a fence in my life. Oh, hit the wrong fucking joystick. Doing fast as I can. That's it. Huh, that looks kind of uneven. Okay. All right, not bad. That looks okay. Go to the next post and pound that in. All right, next post and, and repeat process. You grasp the basics. I got other matters to attend to, but there's more than a day's work here for you. All right. So long. I'll be counting sections when you're done. Okay. Alright, so so he's gonna pick it up from here. Nice. Jim Mill, over here. Jim Milton. I keep reading that as John Milton from Devil's Advocate. Uh oh, there's a commotion going on. Uh oh. Oh yeah, this mission. This mission right here. Come on, son. Come quick as we can. Milton, get over here. Coming. Come on, give us a hand. Know much about bulls, Milton? That is some bullshit. Don't make him mad. Angus Gettys, this is Jim Milton. Mr. Milton, Angus is your boss's son. Oh, you can see the bull's balls. Let's try and move this great hunk of chuck. Come on, move. Oh shit. 
Oh boy, so we gotta stop a bull. Yeah, I'm trying to take out my uh, lasso. Oh, now I can take it out. I could have taken it out before. Alright, so we gotta throw the lasso at the bull. Oh god! And reel him in. Damn, how the fuck he still run after all that? Now see the fucking dot was red for a brief second. Alright, we got the bull. Uh oh. Oh shit. Whoa Nelly. Aw oh, fuck. Well there goes that fence. It might be scripted. Okay, what the hell is going on? See, this game is not even telling me how I'm supposed to uh, stop the bull. Okay. Oh, it fell off! Oh, come on! Oh, that is bullshit. This is real a man. Real he'll end. Like you're gonna wind down. <laughs> but I'll try. Alright, hit square to calm down. Easy, easy. Don't it ain't so bad. Nice and easy now, boy. There, there. So what do I do now? All better? Okay. <laughs> Alright, I think the, I think the bull is fine now. All right, he's fine. He was kind of stubborn. Got it, Mr. Dickens. Oh, good. Oh my God, when I recorded with the game of Dust Shows, the boy actually hit me. Then the cutscene had triggered. Oh, okay. Thank you, Mr. Milton. My pleasure. And you, Mister? Fine. He just got my head. <laughs> good. There he is. See you later, Jim Milton. We'll make a rancher of you yet. It's morning now. Hey. I'll get the coffee on. Thank you. I'm headed to work today myself, Jack. Huh? Oh, yeah, that same I wish you were on the first game. I told you. Cleaning at the doctor's office. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Get the place to tidy. Okay, Pa. I'll see you later. Say, I went to the arcade today. Play some more Star Wars pinball. My god, that can't be cheating his ass off. Alright. Farmer's beginning. So I got a silver uh, medal. Yeah, it's like, what the fuck is up with my core? Alright, fix the section fence within 30 seconds before you being hit by the bull. Well, I already fucked that up. Alright, so, um, alright, let's, let's, go, let's go on the player. Let's go on the John. Now, see, look at my, my health stat. They say everything is fine. See, I didn't get poisoned by anything because I loaded my uh, save file, so they said I'm alright. Damage taken. Oh, steer clear of snacks to avoid gaining weight quickly. Okay. Eating too much or a little... Eating too much or too little will make you become overweight or un underweight. If you're overweight, stand will affect negatively and help you improve. Your underweight health will be affected by negatively. Okay. That's probably... Alright, that's part of the reason why I'm taking damage. Alright. But anyway, time to uh, trigger the next mission. No, I want to go to the map. Just to put a wing marker on there. Come on, game. The next mission going to trigger is... Uh, oh, it's a David Getz mission. Getty's mission. Fatherhood for Beginners. Okay. 
They just love using the word beginners a lot. <laughs> I was gonna say something, but I forgot. Oh yeah, uh, I've been playing uh, Honey Pop 2 all day, and well, I got I got to the final boss, the the, the North fulfillment or some shit like that. And I'm gonna tell you right now, the the freaking final boss of Honey Pop 2 is hard as is hard as Dark Souls. It has four rounds and it has a bonus. But I didn't beat it yet, though. Well, if I will, uh, um, tonight or tomorrow. Milton, Milton, you good with horses? I'm okay. I'll do whatever needs doing, sir. Good man. Can you help my boy, my youngest Duncan? He will insist on riding Jeremiah, a horse that is far too strong for him. And my wife will need help with this mare. Abe? Sir? You and Dickens better not make any more mistakes like you did today, you hear? No, sir. Thank you. Both of you. Come on, he's over here. Foul Abe. Okay, I think I know what I think I know what mission this is. But yeah, the epilogue chapter one and two is, is pretty short. And I am thankful for that. I ain't done too much. I ain't much of a rancher. Oh heck! Hey, maybe them Laramie boys weren't so tough after all. Maybe I could have handled. Of course you could. They're just loud mouths. Yeah. So uh. Is that what the boss is doing in town? Some business with them boys or something? Well, when Mr. Geddes goes into town, well, it ain't exactly for, uh, business. Oh. Uh, okay then. All right. He'll be just at the end there. Well, I better get to. Thanks, kid. All right. Oh yeah, this is the one we had to uh you had to tire somebody's horse on purpose so you can teach it so you can teach this one kid how to uh, ride the horse. Yeah, Duncan. Hey. Like Mr. Duncan from Home Alone. Oh shoot. Alright, that's calm Jeremiah. You know like Jeremiah from Soul Food. Living Bird's uh son. There boy. Hey. Alright. Settle down, okay? Alright, gotta keep on hitting square to calm down. Easy boy. Oh, someone put some onions on their oats, didn't they, boy? Oh, calm down. He likes you. Alright. Now you can finally pet him. I'll make him respect me and behave. Can't you teach me how to make him behave same way as he does for you? Okay, like I said, the final boss of Honey Pop 2 is so hard as Dark Souls. Cause that the final boss goes on forever. Just give me a quick lesson, sir. Please. Okay. Let me ride him a bit first. Get some of the spunk out of him. All right. So now we can uh, get on the horse. We can tire him out. Here we go. Huh? <laughs> no pun intended. For in the Toy Story. Alright. Come on. Can't make him run. What the hell? Now he's running. Let's get a lather up. Yeah, try making the horse jump over the fence to tire him out. Come on. Alright. Well I got five I got five dollars out of nowhere. That was completely random. Alright, once uh, you tire your horse out, it's gonna tell you to go uh, go see Duncan with your horse. Oh yeah, he's not running because he's in the he's in the uh, the ranch. That's right. Yeah, cause normally when you make your horse jump, you would play his uh, stamina a little faster. <laughs> I 
All right. They got tired of now. You should be tired because uh, the game would let me know. I am taking for a ride. Like, can this, can this horse run or what? Oh, fuck! Okay, I guess I what I guess that's one way to tire him out. Oh my god, man, I made that fucking horse bleed. You ain't gonna give us no trouble now. Okay. So apparently you gotta hurt their horse on purpose to lower his stamina. Oh my god. Good thing that's not my horse. <laughs> oh shit, cause I almost forgot that when the horse take damage, it'll it'll deplete his uh, stamina a little quicker. Oh whoa whoa whoa! Okay, where is Duncan at? Now, Mr. Duncan from uh, from Home Alone 2, right. lost in New York. He's ready for you. Okay. Get on up there. And yeah, he's ready. I had to. I crashed a horse by accident, so he should be. He should be ready for you. Stay calm. Me? How you got watch Duncan? You're calm. My heart's beating a little. Keep your voice calm and your legs strong. Don't let old Jeremiah sense fear. I won't. You're doing fine. Real nice. Not that I'm saying you need one, but you sure there isn't another horse for you to ride around here? I had a pony, but I'm too grown for him now. Yeah? You think my son could borrow him? Huh? <laughs> Lancelot? Yeah. Sure. I'll get it hitched by your cabin there. All right. Thank you, son. Can I ask? Oh yeah, I, I I I got a uh, Shantae one on the switch now. Just came out today on the switch. And he's got all these got past the first level. Out of Laramie, and if Pa doesn't sell, well, yeah, be freaking uh right top in her ship. You don't have to worry about all that. You just worry about. So far, it's fun, Shantae. I'm not gonna let's play it. Maybe later, but not now. I already got a new let's play guy in mind after I get done, as I get finished with Red Dead Two. Cause this let's play is almost done. Go out without a chaperone. Oh, I'm not sure about that. You're good. Nice and easy now. Both of you. Alright. You Mr. Milton? I thought you Oh yeah, and I got I got I gotta um help the uh cow give birth to the uh to the baby cow. Come on. Now I remember. I need a man's help. Duncan, what have I told you about distracting the hands? I'm sorry, Ma. <sighs> well, I hope you'll listen to me better than my husband. Thanks, All right, let's just go through the door, you, or you can just climb over the fence. Give him a when you put him down. So we gotta help Mrs. Geddes. Uh, are you coming? So. You know much about yeah, her husband did say something about it. Uh, we had we had to uh, get the calf out of that cow. Where does my husband find men like you? Bill, we all know where he goes in town, and it ain't hunting for hands. It's not too hard. You just uh, stick a hand in there and get a feeling for where the legs are. Go on. Whatever you say, ma'am. Man, man, man. Oh my goodness, man. I would ask for some gloves. Alright, slowly rotate the, uh, left joystick to find the, uh... Oh my god! Oh goodness! Those damn quick time events! 
Well, we're not out of the woods, but I think she may be okay. Well, they don't show the baby cow coming out of that, uh, coming out of the mama cow. I don't know why they don't show it. Like, what the fuck? Thank you. Oh, and Mr. Milton, feel free to make a call at the house I was gonna, I was gonna say, uh, put some clothes on. Drink to toast our new arrival. I'd like that, but my wife is expecting me back. Oh. Shoot, my dad, he, my dad once had a kid that gave birth to kittens. Yeah. We, we have a boy. Maybe you've seen him around? Oh, uh, I'm, I'm busy. Uh, t too busy for social calls. Of course. Good day, Mr. Milton. Alright. So maybe I go see Jack. <laughs> oh, wow. I just love how I made John, like, burst through the fence. <laughs> Alright, my stamina increase at least. Hey, John. Jim. <sighs> Sorry. So, this is what you wanted. Fake names, which, by the way, Dickens sees clean through. John. Us on the run. John, this is our chance to make something new. Come on. Please. For me. For him. How's he been? He's been kind of withdrawn. Quiet. You know. Sure. Take him out, please. Come on, boy. <sighs> Let's go for a walk. Come on. I know you gotta teach our son, uh, Jack, how to ride the horse. Tony, get on him. We're taking a ride. Duncan, Mr. Getty's boy lent it to you. Let's go. All right, ride with Jack. What are you doing? Fine. Can we go home? No. Huh. <laughs> home was right there. <laughs> Stay calm. Where would you like to go riding? Aside from home, it's probably the time when my sister taught me how to drive. Maybe that stream. Good idea. And you know all yeah, I'm still, I'm still trying to, I'm still working on getting a new car at some point. Come on, you know. Okay, now at some point you can tell uh, Jack to slow down or or ride faster. Okay. Uh huh. Confident. That's kind of true. He, they can send arrows can uh, sense your fear, which I find hard to believe. Like, cause I once I once had a cat who scratched the shit out of me, and my mom and brother must be laughing at me, which they had no fucking right to do. Cause, cause that, I mean, that cat scratched it hurts like a motherfucker. Like I don't, cause all right, hold L two near jet focus on speed. Okay. Alright. Oh, but yeah, but that, but the, but the old kid I had back then, like back in 2000, I think it was, that cat was a bitch ass motherfucker for scratching me. Okay. And I hope that cat is dead and go to hell. Alright, we'll make, we'll make Jack go a little faster. Or we can go slower. <laughs> like I said, mommy my my sister teach me how to drive. Slow down. Go faster. Slow down. Go faster. Alright. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, that, that my old cat I had was a bitch ass motherfucker for scratching me. One time it scratched me right in my behind. Well, <laughs> when I was uh putting up the Christmas tree. See, you can do it. How about you speed up a mic? Okay. Whoa. Don't let Jack go too fast, or he may buck off the horse. All 
All right. Pull him in. You're in control of this. Easy. All right, let's slow him down because I, I don't want him to fall to horse. Like every time I go in my room, can't be scratching my foot, my leg, my behind. And every time that cat scratches my foot, it hurts like hell. It swells up. This ain't so bad, sir. I'm glad we got rid of that cat. Hope it fucking died. Shoot, my dad wouldn't blame me for saying that because he once shot shot one of my old cats. Because apparently, um, that cat scratched me in my eye when I was when I was three months, and he took the he took the cow back in and shot the shit out of him. Like bam, bam, bam. Alright. I really need to do something about that health core. Yep. Or shit. You think you're ready for a little race? I guess. Alright. We go back to the path and up to the ranch. Alright. Okay. On my go. Go! And now we can race Jack. Back to the ranch. He almost knocked me off, dick. Oh, oh my god, man. He almost had a he almost had a huge start because I almost ran to that tree. Now there are two different outcomes whenever he whether he beats you or not. Hey, come back here. You'll have to catch me. Alright, so when we when we race when we uh, go back to the ranch, uh when we go back home. Yeah, don't follow the path to the house. You gotta take the shortcut, cause Jack will take a shortcut. And he'll beat you if you're not careful. So I believe this is where the shortcut is, so... Yeah, let's cut through here. Uh-oh. Okay, there we go. Okay, so for the first time ever, I beat Jack! You won! This time... Whoa! But... We both rode hard. You're riding? It's got a lot better. Thanks. Okay, this is the first time watching this cutscene because um when I quit for the game industrials and do my presence file, Jack beat me. Alright. Now there's something going on. Old habits. So let's investigate. Investigate the disturbance. Uh oh. Whoa, shit! Shut up and dance! Watch your mouth, boy. You will be the first one we kill. Leave him alone. All careful, boys. Careful. Oh, hello. Somebody likes my activities at Suyo Nanako. Fancy parents get is paying you to be tough for him, huh? No, he's paying me to keep the place clean. Oh. So he had some problems with vermin. Oh, listen to this. Real funny. Oh my gosh, that fucking Trevor. <laughs> Alright, let's punch the shit out of him. Ooh. Take that, you motherfucker. Mmm, 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 mmm. Oh god, I'm fucking him up. Dude, I'm literally fucking him up. Alright, Happy Girl's gonna come out of nowhere and, and stop the fight. <laughs> well, he started it. My thoughts exactly. Oh, yeah, we're actually gonna see him later. Quite a temper you got. Imagine you're you're frustrated with your lot in life. Dude, is he voiced by Trevor from uh, Grand Theft Auto V? And how dare you talk to Abigail like that? Leave my wife alone. Despite the fact that she is a whore, but yeah. But still, don't talk to her like that. And you, boy, tell Mr. Geddes we called. We'll be back. Whoa. Thank you, Mr. Not Milton. me to fuck down. Thank you. Don't worry about it. Stop. I 
acting like a goddamn storybook hero, will ya? What choice did I have? Plenty, you moron. Plenty. He started it. What was I supposed to do? Shake his hand and say congratulations, you're an idiot? We all get caught eventually, John. I guess the trick is to decide by who. Hello, Dutch. All right, old habits. Got a gold medal. Let's see what what I do. Oh, defeat my man without taking hit and defeat the man within 25 seconds. Nice. Alright, wait a minute. Oh, wait, what? Just listen to what they had to say. Alright, with that, folks, um, we're going to end it off here. So, the next episode, so let's play um, Red Dead 2. We got some more uh, mandatory missions we can uh, start again. So, um, there's Jim and Ross again. And there's, um, Fatherhood for Idiots. Yeah, I might, you know what? I may take on this mission first before we take on this mission right here. Because, um, a little semi-spoiler alert. This mission right here has a, uh, little Easter egg in it. <laughs> but you'll see when I, when I, when I do that mission. And that'll, like, Mary Beth a little bit, but, that, but that's somebody else. But, yeah. This mission right here has a little has a little Easter egg, <laughs> but yeah. So in the, so the next episode, let's play uh, Red Dead Two. We're gonna continue on with some mandatory mission, the epilogue, first chapter. So until next time, everyone. Celtics A four two out.